we got Robbie Owens talking to customers today, but we do want to get underway with Jack Fink to go inside the situation here. Jack, I know you got information today that the FAA is now stepping up their enforcement at Southwest maintenance stations all across the country, not just here. Tell us more. Well, Doug and Gilma, the FAA says this is standard practice every time airlines go through labor issues, and so there are more spot inspections as needed. The FAA's increased oversight started arriving at Southwest Airlines maintenance stations across the country last Friday, the same day the airline declared an operational emergency at several of its facilities nationwide. It added Dallas to the list yesterday. Southwest has said it's experiencing about 40 of its 750 aircraft being taken out of service for unscheduled repairs. That's about double the normal daily average. This comes as part of a dispute between the airline and its mechanics union. Uh, this is the labor law equivalent of a very important game of chicken. Raggy Dunn is a labor law attorney in Dallas. He says he's not surprised to see both sides exchanging barbs and pointing fingers. Southwest and the mechanics have been negotiating a new contract for six and a half years now. Last night, Southwest COO issued a statement saying, on February 12th, just days after our last negotiation sessions with AMFA, we experienced an unprecedented number of out-of-service aircraft in four specific maintenance locations. Despite no change in our maintenance programs, no changes in leadership, and no changes in our policies and procedures. In response, AMFA said, for Southwest's leadership to connect the airline's self-declared operational emergency to collective bargaining negotiations is simply an attempt to divert attention away from the airline's safety issues. I mean, how do these things normally shake out? Well, it depends on who flinches first. And Southwest Airlines and the Mechanics Union agree that safety is their top priority. Live at Dallas Love Field, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.